You know, kids, when it comes to that pentatonic scale, I like to hear mine in furious fives. <laughs> Hello children and welcome to a brand new installment of Weekend Wang Shop. Here's your good pal, Uncle Ben. You know kids, the pentatonic scale seems like it was meant for fives. After all, penta is actually Alaskan for five. So it makes sense to play the pentatonic, which is Alaskan for five tonic scale, in groups of five. Generally speaking, the guy that's the king of the five-atonic scale grouped in fives is a little fella from Texas named Eric Jernsern, but maybe you've also heard Joe Berner Mercer or Eric Girls also bust out some five atonic fives on you here and there. This would be a great lick to bust out over an E minor chord or even in an E minor blues if you want to really heat things up. But before we get into it, let's check it out again at old stepdad speed. As always, kids, you can find a full tab for this week's lick over on my Instagram page. Be sure to go visit Ben Eller Guitars over on Instagram. Find the tab for this week's lick and learn how to play it and upload a video of yourself shredding through it along with that sick hashtag, Weekend Wank Shop. All right, kiddos, so for starters here, this is using the good old E minor Panasonic scale here in the 12th position, which a lot of you guys probably already know. But if you don't, it's like this, from low to high. On the low E string, you play 12 and 15. On the A, you play 12 and 14. Same thing on the D, same thing on the G. On the B, you play 12 and 15. And on the high E string, you play 12 and 15. Play that frontwards and backwards, get familiar with it. It's gonna make this whole thing a whole lot easier for you. So the idea behind this lick here is that you're descending down that E minor pentatonic scale five notes at a time. And there's a lot of different ways you can think of that. You could think of about it as walking down five notes and then ascending back up three notes. One, two, three, until you're this note. One, two, three, one, two, three. But I find that really kind of confusing. Here's the way that Uncle Ben thinks about these types of licks. Okay, every string here has two notes on it, right? In other words, it has a high note on each string and a low note, a high note a low note, high, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, right? Here's the way that I like to think about it. The first 10 notes are like this. Five notes starting from the high note on the high E string. One, two, three, four, five. I just walk straight down the scale there. 15, 12, 15, 12, 14. And then what I do is I play five notes from the low note on the high E string. Two, three, four, five. So five from the high, one, two, three, four, five, five from the low. Then I go to the B string and play five from the high note, five from the low note. The G string, five from high, five from low. D string, uh, low note on the D. So rather than thinking about it as walking down and then walking back up a few notes and so on, I just think about it as from the high note to the low note. I, low, I, low. I. But if that doesn't make sense to you, let me walk you through it kind of step by step here. So from the high E string, you can go 15, 12, B string, 15, 12, G string, 14. And then from the high E string here, we're gonna go 12, B string, 15, 12, G string, 14, 12. So, so far you got. Now from the B string fret 15, you're gonna play 15, 12. G string here, you're gonna play 14, 12. D string 14. And then you're gonna, from the B string, go 12. G string 14, 12. D string 14, 12. Next from the G string, you're gonna play 14, 12. D string 14, 12. A string 14. G string 12, D string 14, 12, A string 14, 12, D 
string fret 14, 12, A string 14, 12, low E string 15, D string 12, A string 14, 12, E string 15, 12, and then wrapping up by ending on the root note here, the 14th fret D string, the E note. So once more from the top, you end up with something like this. Five from the highest on the E, lowest on the E, highest B, lowest B, high G, low G, high D, low D, octave. And there you have it. Now picking wise, I'm straight up alternate picking the shit out of all this. So the picking pattern is down up throughout the entire thing. Down up, 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 and so on, all the way through the whole thing. Now here's the only thing to kind of worry about this. Okay, if you've watched Troy Grady's incredible Cracking the Code series, which I know you should have by now because it's literally life-changing picking information, you'll understand the difference between down slant picking and up slant picking, you know? And basically, I'm, I'm more, of a, uh, more of a down slant picker if I was to classify myself as anything, which means that it's easy for me to change strings after an upstroke. Again, for more info, go watch Cracking the Code. It's free. It's right here on YouTube. It'll change your life. So anyway, basically what that means is that I'm good at changing strings after an upstroke, you know? And uh, that also means I'm good at playing even numbers on strings, like one, two, one, two, right? Because every one of those two notes I'm playing on each string will uh, have me ending on an upstroke, just like that. Now, the only place that it gets kind of sticky is where I end on this uh, first end of the group of five. In other words, the G string here on fret number 14. That's a solo note on that one string that ends on downstroke, right? So what you end up having to do, if you pick like a me, is that whenever you play that single note at the end of that first five group of every one of these sets, see how I'm kind of curving that pick stroke out? That way I can snag back under the high E string with an upstroke. See, if I maintain the same pick position, well then I have to kind of like jump in and out of the strings. And it's very awkward to do that at high speeds. It's very unreliable too. So what you've really got to do whenever you're strategizing your picking here is that for the first ending note of every group of five, there, 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 you got to do what Troy would call an upward slanted downstroke. Again, another way to think of it is just by curving that downstroke outwards. Down, up, down, up, curved downstroke. See how I kind of changed my picking hand position there? That's to enable me to get to my upstroke on the high E next. I would even suggest just taking that first set and practicing it totally solo and concentrating on that 14th fret G string note there. Really making sure that you're curving that stroke outwards to make the whole thing a whole lot easier. But yeah, straight up alternate picket. So there you go kids, a Furious Fives pentatonic lick to add to the good old wank bank. Bust that one out some time and you're sure to impress the chicks and get tons of money. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel here and also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, both are at Ben Ellery Guitars. Follow my antics and shenanigans. Also, if you're interested in booking some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, be sure to drop me an email. BenEllerGuitars at gmail.com. I'll get back to you as fast as I can and we'll talk about rates and times and all that other good stuff. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for more cool stuff next week. Cheers, you guys.